AA batteries are some of the most commonly used batteries in day-to-day -day life, or at least in mine. And I've always had the choice, do I go with the cheaper upfront cost of disposable batteries or try to recoup value over time with rechargeable batteries? The kicker for me has been that typically, up until now anyway, all of the rechargeable batteries I've tested, they don't quite hold as much energy or power storage as alkaline batteries do. And yeah, I don't like that these can, they can be prone to leakage, especially if there's temperature fluctuations or if they're just left in devices for a long amount of time. Um, I don't love that about these alkaline batteries, but I have typically just got these because I haven't found a suitable rechargeable battery that can compare when it comes to capacity or performance up until now. This is X-Star's AA rechargeable battery. It's a 1.5 volt lithium ion battery, 25 milliamp hour capacity. Um, we're gonna put these to the test in this video. And in the past on this channel, we have tested um, batteries sent in by companies independently and good or bad, I've just shown you the results. So I'm pretty um, confident of XSTAR to send these to the channel for review. And I already know the result uh, because I've done the test already. I'll show you in just a moment, but um, I don't really have anything bad to say about these. They're really good batteries. Um, so yeah, I can recommend these, but I'll let you see for yourself why I think that way. What we're gonna do in this video, I've got two identical Edison mini lanterns from Bare Bones. They take uh, two AA batteries in the bottom here. And in one of these lanterns, we're gonna put the disposable alkaline batteries. And in the other, we're gonna put these batteries from X-Star. And we're gonna see, we're gonna do a runtime test, just straight up show you the time lapse, see which one of these batteries run the brightest for the longest. So you can make up your own mind as to if these will be worth it or not. Um, right now on Amazon, these X-Star batteries go for $29.99, um, but you get a little charger. Um, this has a USB-C port at the top. They include a USB-A to USB-C cable. Might as well just show you that. Um, here's the box. So yeah, got a pretty quick charge time. Um, uh, high claim capacity, which we're about to test. And some more, a little look at the box here. But yeah, rated for 1200 cycles. Not bad at all. So yeah, if you do use a significant amount of double A's in your life, these could pay for themselves over time. Um, especially if you've been using alkalines instead. There's that USB-C to USB-A cable. And then I think there's a manual in here as well. This is not an unboxing, <laughs> I've gotten to this before, but yeah, do get the manual here as well. So without further ado, let's get the time-lapse rolling and we can see just how well these do stacked up against alkaline batteries. Okay, the end of that runtime test happens really fast, so it's hard to tell what happened, but I'm gonna throw in some screenshots in a moment just so you can see. But basically, um, the X-Star batteries remained brighter for longer than the Duracell batteries. These kind of like faded and tapered off, whereas these ones remained uh, pretty constant brightness until they just shut off like a light switch. That is actually a very good thing because these batteries, they have what's called a BMS or a uh, battery management system. So basically protection for both overcharge and over discharge. There's a little bit of, for lack of a better word, I think there's like a computer chip that just regulates the battery's charge and discharge at a certain voltage. Um, it can cut both of those off. So that protects the overall lifespan of this battery, um, making it more reusable over time. So that's what we witnessed in the runtime test. It kind of looked like the Duracell won out, but in my opinion, it did not because it was, it was fading into nothing, whereas this one just shut off and it had that constant brightness throughout. Um, so yeah, very happy with how these performed. Um, one thing I did want to show you as well is just how this charger looks. Um, be remiss if I didn't show that, but basically get these LEDs at the top. You can see right here, um, these ones are now charging and these LEDs that are red up top will illuminate in green, similar to over here when they are fully charged. All 
Hopefully that replay showed you what I was talking about a little bit, how the alkalines were fading, tapering off, where this one just switched right off. Glad to see there is a rechargeable battery on the market that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the alkalines in terms of uh, runtime or capacity. And I'm glad to see the BMS kicked in as well to preserve the life and life cycles of this battery. Really happy these are out there. Um, it's kind of been what I've been waiting for is in terms of rechargeable double A's because nothing I've tested yet has been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe just with the regular alkaline battery. But these do. Um, it's a can recommend for me as far as I'm concerned, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is there a rechargeable battery that you like? What's your go-to? Um, and then, yeah, do you think uh, pros or cons, which, what's more worth it to you? Um, yeah, hope this gave you a good look at the X-Star AA 1.5 volt rechargeable lithium ion batteries. Uh, thanks for checking out the video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you got value out of this or learned anything, please do hit the thumbs up for me. That helps me a lot. And subscribe if you like flashlight battery content. Moving forward, take care. God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye.